I'm Barry Godin and we're on an adventure. My week off didn't quite start to plan. Um, there was kind of thunderstorms forecast the very first day I was off and then thunderstorms did come. So I was a bit of a wuss. I stayed indoors for a few days. Oh my goodness me. But it's come up to my birthday. The sun is out. We've come to Cambridge on the train and we're gonna go to Norfolk. I am with my, with my other half, but she doesn't want to be on camera, so she will be here, but I'll have to talk on her behalf. So we've come out of Cambridge on cycle route number 11. I have to say it's spectacular. We've had amazing, fast paths, countryside within like 10, 15 minutes. It's beautiful. This, I think it's called the Fens Way, this part. And we're on our way to Ely um, to go and see the cathedral there. It's really set up for cyclists, the fens. Um, they even don't even have gates. We have cattle grids that you fly along. So there's no stopping. I think we've got a bit of a river to follow now. This is glorious. I think we just had our first glimpse of our next destination, Ely Cathedral on the horizon. And we're on our way towards Norfolk. And I have to say, the Fens is quite incredible. Although it's probably as flat as a pancake. The roads are fast and the views go on forever. And Google has done it again. Nice bit of gravel road. And not only did we see one horse and carriage, we saw two. So that was quite a spectacle. Um, obviously, if you are approaching the horse, do follow the code of conduct and uh, yeah, let them know you're coming and pass very nice and slowly. So I don't know what really got next. I'm really enjoying this trip. So yeah, let's see what the adventure brings. We well, you know we talk about trying to find water. Good old village hall, tap on the side by the bowls green. We both had a little wash and got enough water to keep going. Well, we've had it all going on. We saw a deer in the field, which is beautiful, but it was a bit of an eerie field. 
Um, I don't think we're supposed to be there. There's lots of, lots of signs saying, keep out, do not trespass, but we did anyway because Google said, Google has taken us on a beautiful route today. Um, I mean, it's been off-road, you know, some nice tracks, beautiful roads, super quiet. And um, yeah, follow Google <laughs> with the bike maps. Um, and then what happened next? Ah, oh, and then she got a butterfly in her helmet for a couple of minutes and that's poke it out. And then it flew away, which is quite spectacular. And now we rode for a very small town village with like four houses. Um, but I was trying to find a sign. This is the best I can get you. So I come from big London this morning and arrived at little London, <laughs> which is magical. So yeah, from big to little, and then hopefully the next few miles into our big new tent. A spectacular day. First time we set up the two-man hubber. It's massive. <laughs> we found enough space for it. Uh, we've actually quite a nice church, which is quite pleasant. Although over here we have like the biggest mansion hall you've ever seen in your life, and we think we're in their garden. But um, we're quite a way away, but we can still just about see them. Hopefully, they don't come look us for us tonight. Uh, but yeah, it's been a spectacular day. Um, we've seen hares this evening, another four deer um, bouncing around. So really, really cool. Um, yes, it's helped by the weather, but let's see what tomorrow will bring when we actually hit the Pedders Way and work our way to the Norfolk coast. Look at the size of that. It's enormous. Where's the owl gone? Woken up in the middle of the night by quite a heavy wind in the trees and we thought, blimey. Um, yes, and it got rather windy and I hadn't pulled the guide ropes out in the new tent, but the new tent is rather comfortable. Huge amounts of space. You actually lobble your kit inside without actually worrying what's um, in the way. But we've just started off. We've got through North Pickering. It's a bit cloudy, a bit windy, but there was sun a minute ago. And we have just hit our first bit of the Pedder's Way. So now we're going to hit the Pedder's Way, which is actually an old Roman road, if not before that as well. It's been going for many years. Um, and this should take us straight out to Hunstanton on the Norfolk coast. So hopefully we get there today. It's about 40 something miles. I did forget to tell you yesterday, we did 56 and she's never done that far before. So pretty blinding effort. Um, yeah, so 56 miles yesterday and today probably about 40 something and get somewhere to camp, hopefully by the sea. made it to Castle Acre, our spot for lunch, but an amazing old priory which has been a ruins and a, an amazing castle. 
It's a wonderful day. So we're having a lovely time. It was a cheese scone, a sausage roll, and a ham and leek tart in Castle Acre. And then we've been kind of cruising along the Pedder's Way, which is actually doing quite a lot of off-road. It's really nice, quite smooth, very flattish, but a few undulations. Um, but great for anybody. If you want to do like first bikepacking trip or even first mountain biking trip, come here. It's brilliant for everyone. It's yeah, and you have loads of beautiful countryside rolling around. We just passed some burial mounds, which are 2,000 BC, so like 4,000 years old, which is pretty incredible. Um, the wind has been ridiculous. The wind blows up all the uh, um, dust and stuff from the fields and it's quite um, painful actually. But we're getting there. It's, um, yeah, it's been quite pleasant but very changeable. So let's uh, crack on and see if we can go and see the sea. away and a fellow bike packer David here who's made it into two YouTube videos on his last holiday so he's doing well celebrity times and what's your journey at the moment where are you going I uh, travel from Bury St Edmunds to home next to home next to the sea I think yeah, and, then, the sea. and then back again yeah marvellous so he's got one more night yeah one more night camping out yep. yeah a few wild nights and uh, we're both enjoying the wind but uh, mine's more of a tailwind and his is a bit more of a yeah, headwind, headwind with the dust off this wonderful field. It's um, particularly horrible. Yeah. So, yeah, happy journeys, my friend. Thank you. Good to meet Exciting news! We can see the sea! Which means we're close to the coast, which is pretty cool. But it's getting very gloomy. It's only about five o'clock and it feels like six or ten, I don't know. We've got some blue patches still, but yeah, so we're gonna head down there and then ice cream on the beach. <laughs> you have to be excited about a sign that says Beach Road. We're going to the beach! So we made it to the beach in true Norfolk style in the changeable weather. It's quite um, quite dramatic and maybe some rain which was never forecast and might be landing on me. Um, the sea is quite far away. We kind of need to find water, maybe even a pub for dinner maybe um, to avoid some of this rain and find maybe a less sandy spot to camp and less windy before our tent rips into pieces. Um, so. We'll dip the wheels in the sea tomorrow. It's now categorically raining. Wow, wow, wow. So the rain came. We found a public toilet with warm water in it. So we both had a shower, washed our hair, there's even a bit of a hand dryer. Um, we got water from the tap outside it, which is made from drinking. Um, so we're winning, we are really winning. Uh, we got along the dunes a little bit and we've got this spot here, which the sun is setting and this is turning into quite, um, quite an incredible place to be. We had a bit of trouble with the positioning in the sand, uh, trying to get the pegs in. Uh, but I have to say, they've gone in quite nicely, we're quite firm. We're actually down a little bit, so it should be quite nice, but what a view! That is what dreams are made of.
what a rough night's sleep we wake up to this incredible view. standing I promise to dip in the sea. And it's definitely sea water. A real British holiday, dipping in the sea in the rain.
Oh, another quality camp spot for this evening. Another sea view. <laughs> uh, this could be our last night on this trip, so we did choose a nice spot, which is pretty grand. Uh, what we've been doing today, we've been kind of um, enjoying ourselves, really. Um, dipping in and out of the Keys and having a look at the coastline. Uh, we did ride some uh, paths uh, which were thoroughly frowned upon, so don't ride the Pedder's Way along the coast of Norfolk, which you'll be told off many times, and quite rightly, I'm not, no comment, but yes, quite rightly, we got told off far too many times, we ended up on quite a busy road, but we did okay. We're just dipping in and out, and it's really, really nice. I do, uh, I've looked at the map since, there's actually a cycleway inland quite a few miles, it looks really quite nice. But I come here for the sea, I wanted to see the sea. Uh, but it's been really, really beautiful. And yeah, tomorrow we're going to make a wiggle through, we're going to be more inland tomorrow. Work our way back to Kings Lynn to get the train back home. So yeah, day one, two, three, completed. So today is my birthday and the fourth day of our trip. So we had a very leisurely morning. We, we ran out of gas, which I have to say, after all the things I've taught you, running out of gas was not something you thought I'd say. But we had run out of gas for this morning. It was a mission to find coffee and something for breakfast. So we found a gorgeous cafe, the Salt House, which I have to say, if you are in that area, definitely go there. Incredible coffee, probably some of the best coffee you'll find around wonderful sausage roll and then my birthday cake was a bit of carrot cake and we had a whole pint of raspberries as well so we're living the dream um it's really really nice and they filled our water bladder up for us as well last night was a really good spot um wasn't so windy but obviously it's a well-known wild camp spot because they were at 10 o'clock in the evening just about to go to sleep another six to eight people turned up in bivy bags and spread out not very far away um, they were friendly-ish, but didn't come over and say hello and how are you, or that there was that many people coming. So if you are approaching someone in the middle of nowhere, which I'm normally quite scared of, um, at least go in and say hello or something. Or don't camp next to them, especially if there's eight of you. But they weren't too loud, it was all pleasant, it was all wonderful, and it was a great evening. Um, no stars, uh, this morning though, no blue skies, winds out. It's a little bit cloudy now, but we have such a beautiful view. We're now inland from the coast. We're going to be wiggling around back to Kings Lynn at some point. And that was, I just found a cheeky bit of off-road on the trail. Always look at your map, find a bit of cheeky off-road for a bit of cheeky fun. <laughs> Talk later.
we stopped off for yet another coffee and cake at the Art Cafe, which was really quite nice actually. A nice going to the gallery there, and it's quite a bustling little place. But it did mean we had two coffees and cakes within four miles, and we had quite a lot of miles to do today. Um, so we did kind of get heads down after a little while, and we kind of hit a big heavy road. But then Google's taking some beautiful, lovely little country lanes around here. It's been really pleasant. Uh, although the weather did start raining on us, it's just stopped for a minute. But that's why we're all in waterproofs now. Um, and we just stopped off uh, to, to have a quick break for a moment. And we discovered in this farmland, he's got like some massive sculptures in his field. So whether he's an artist, I don't quite know, but pretty cool. Um, we've got about 15, 20 miles to do to get back to Kings Lynn. Um, we're kind of a bit kind of rushing to get there. We're trying to get a train home tonight rather than trying to camp out again because I said no gas and we're getting to more of the towns and less places to camp. Um, but yeah, all is going well. But a bit more of a road hack coming on, so a bit more heads down. But uh, we'll see you hopefully near the end. <laughs> at the end of our journey at Kingsling Station. We've been four days away, three wild nights, and we've had such a wonderful time. Even the ride back has actually been quite pleasant, even on some of the busy roads. Spectacular scenery, really, really great place to come bike back in Norfolk. Loads of gravel tracks we haven't even explored yet, some more to come. But yeah, until next adventure, ciao for now. A quick side note though, Kingsling closes at four o'clock apparently. It's now half past seven. And even Morrison's the petrol station is closed. We sneak sneaked in. We have a sack full of uh, Philadelphia cheese and like crackers and weird stuff for dinner. So um, not quite what we were after for dinner. Uh, but yes, let's <laughs> get on the train and munch this food. But yes, don't come to Kings Lane after four. It's closed. Costa, Costa.